I'm here in sunny Twin Beijing to test out my modded Game Boy camera. Most of us take photos every day. We capture so much that we even return to instant cameras, Polaroids, film photography, and digital CCDs to seize back the lost ceremony of the photographic moment. For those of my age, access to easy digital photography began in 1998 with Nintendo Game Boy. But the Game Boy camera is no mere nostalgia trip. Its photos adorn gallery walls, technically virtual gallery walls as in Game Boy Camera Gallery 2022, which I have here in my analog pocket. It's 2023, it's never been a better time to step into Game Boy photography. I mean, makers are obsessed with modding the crap out of this thing. Today, I'll have you sorted out for all the mods, tricks, tips, and hacks, none of which will make you a great photographer, but all of which will equip you in making the most out of this guy. Let's snap to it. Quick disclaimer, all of these mods and hacks to come are either open source or inexpensive. I will provide links with detailed instructions for everything we touch upon. Projects mentioned or demonstrated are of varying difficulty levels, so most of you will need to require some basic DIY skills as well as some knowledge of electronics, soldering, 3D printing, and the likes. Happy Gaming House takes no responsibility for any damages that could occur. So take the time to know what you're getting into before proceeding. Okay guys, let's give a quick demonstration on how to use the Game Boy camera. I'm using my original Game Boy. Plug the camera in. Go ahead and pop it on. Now if you've noticed that my screen looks really crisp and clear, it's because I did an IPS mod on it. Um, it's in a previous video, so make sure to check that out if you want to do the same thing with your Game Boy. On the left hand side, you have your gallery. And on the right hand side, is where you take pictures. Let's press A again. Now I'm going to do a demonstration, I'll take a quick selfie. So on the left hand side you have your storage and because you can only store 30 pictures a lot of people ask how can you add more? How can you store more pictures? Well there's a variety of ways. One way to do it is actually to use your analog pocket. Turn it on. Before you proceed with this step you got to make sure you have the latest analog pocket firmware downloaded or else it would not work. So we're going to do play cartridge. Also you need a micro SD card. So there's a little slot for it right here. So plug that in so you can have all the storage you need. Look for that photo we saved. There we go. So now if you press the middle button and the right hand side button, you can take a screenshot. See, saving screenshot, press the middle button for your storage. And you can see in memories, screenshots, variety of screenshots you have saved. And here we go. That's your screenshot right there. And you can upload as many as you want and save into the SD card. Well done. Now you can post your grainy Game Boy photos online and try to explain why it's cool. Or you could kick it old school and print them, but where is the charm? Thanks to the talented Raphael Boychat, you can simulate the soft aspect look of a Game Boy printer with a little bit of tinkering. Or if you happen to have one handy, print it as intended on the actual device. Let's print out the picture. You have two cords right here. Simple as plug in the first cord on the side and plug in the second one to your analog pocket. Now when you're on the screen here, all you want to do is press the A button. So once you have that, you want to power on, choose up, which is print though. Press A again. It's going to ask you if you want to print or no. Press A again as well. And now our masterpiece will come out. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. I mean, look at this. And I'm happy with the quality. Amazing. Fun fact, 110 games supported the Game Boy printer. It's a thermal printer. Rolls are non-standard, 38 millimeters wide. This can be a pain. If you use the original paper from back in the day, it's most likely degraded and print quality will likely be poor. 
I have the standard version here. So you can cut paper from these wider rolls, but it will most likely jam and the print quality will be lackluster. And I know this from experience. Thankfully, it's possible to find 38 millimeter thermo paper, such as Nakagawa's manufacturing's NAP-0038-006 or Psycho's 951 thermo paper. Just search online. Once more, thanks to Raphael Boychat, using open source Arduino hardware, you can now mod your Game Boy printer to print anything you like. If a Game Boy printer is too much of a hassle and you have another thermal printer already, fear not. The Game Boy Printer XL project can be used as a substitute printer. Additionally, for wireless printing, there's a Fomino Game Boy Printer project. Again, both of these are open source, but require a little knowledge of electronics and soldering to pull off. In 1855, James Clerk Maxwell proposed the trichromatic technique of creating color photos by combining three identical black and white photos, each taken with a different color filter. The primary colors being red, green, and blue. These three correspond to the three types of color receptors or cone cells of the human eye. In 1861, a photo of tartan ribbon using this technique became the first color photo in history. Applying the same technique and style for the Game Boy camera is simple with modern editing software. So I'm on Photoshop right now. And as you can tell, we have all our pictures we took accordingly. We have the red, the green, and the blue. We also have the extra picture we took, the original picture. You wanna create a new file. So you wanna choose the red, go to the channels, and you have a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. So you wanna add it accordingly, just like that. And this is our new file. You can see that everything's all added. We have the RGB and boom. There is our rendered picture. It's a little bit green in the background, so let's kind of mess with it in the hue and saturation. I think that gives it the best color, in my opinion. But you can mess around with your picture as well at home. Depends on what you like. As you can tell, the picture looks really, really good, but it's a little bit foggy. So here's a little pro tip for you guys. What you want to do is, since we took a fourth picture, the original picture, you want to add that to the new layer to the whole pictures and kind of just blend that together. What that's gonna do is give us a more of a contrast. I think around 88 looks pretty good. Just click OK for that. And here's a little before and after. Um, I think it looks a lot better. It kind of reduces the noise in the background of the picture. So it gives it more pop and more contrast. And that is the benefit of modern technology. It really re-sparks the passion for retro devices all over again. I think it looks amazing. What do you guys think? Now, let's talk lenses. The resolution of Game Boy camera photos is fixed, so what good is it to mount an expensive professional lens like this going to do? The photos will be as lo-fi as ever, sure, but it expands the horizons of what you can photograph, what the eye of the Game Boy camera can see. Two uses are zoom lenses for capturing distant objects like the moon or macro lenses for close-up photos in detail. A free option is to 3D print this Canon EF lens adapter like I did. First step is you wanna unscrew the Game Boy camera. Now remember, this is Nintendo, so you'll need the tri-wing tip screw heads. One at a time. Now that you have all six screws off, gently open it. Just be a little gentle with it. You don't wanna break anything in the process. Now let's install it onto our mod. The mod came in three separate pieces. Now, if you're interested in this mod, I'll have a link in the description below. So what you wanna do is you wanna line this up, make sure it has the right side. It just it slips on really easily, just like that. Feed the CMOS through this little slot. And it should click in perfectly. Now make sure you don't do it too tight. You don't wanna damage the board or anything. And there we have it. Now, once you have this all screwed in, it's time to adjust the CMOS onto our third piece. This will be the lens adapter. So it should fit perfectly. It has a groove right here, so you know exactly how it fits. And as you can tell, yes, you can see the CMOS perfectly. Now, the final step here would be to take our bolt and kind of just screw it into our wedge. All you need is just a standard Allen wrench for this. Now, this is gonna allow us to pivot our camera. As you can tell, I'm kind of missing a piece here. Um, the CMOS sits here, you know, it's nice and tight, but it does come off. This is 
relatively a rough mod. It doesn't come with any other piece than these three, but I think I have something that can fix this. Duct tape. It fixes everything. And there you have it. We have all stabilized here. Now, it's not the prettiest looking, but it's functional, so it's gonna definitely work. Okay, let's try this out. Let's put it on the Game Boy. Find the right groove. And it should just click in like that. And there you have it, guys. I mean, as you can tell, it's a bit loose. That's the problem with these rough mods, but duct tape's gonna solve this issue. So I'll duct tape it. But look at that. How cool is that? Now let's give this a test drive and go test it out and take some pictures of the Beijing skyline. So we finished the DIY and I have my camera set up here on the sand. Now these lenses are designed for full frame cameras. So the CMOS on the Game Boy camera is tiny. So it literally turns this camera into a telescope. Come take a closer look. Now, the building you see on screen, if you can tell, is all the way over there. Now, that is the BRTV station. It's the Beijing Radio TV station. I googled it. It's approximately around 1.6 kilometers away. So, I mean, just right off the bat, look at how impressive this is. You can actually zoom in all the way over there. Now, let's mess with the focus here. All right, make it more clear. Perfect. BRTV. Take a picture of that, save it. Let's go back. Let's see if we can get a clearer picture of the antennas. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I'm speechless. It is super crisp for what it is. Now let's mess around. I mean, I'm having so much fun right now. I just want to kind of creep on random people and buildings. Let's go to the streets. Oh yeah, there we go. You can see all the bikes. Anyone walking? Let's take a look at grandpa and grandma walking down there. Look at that, perfect. There's a guy right there, what is he doing? Eating some ramen, some dumplings? I got you. Forever saved on my Game Boy, this guy. I mean, I'm having so much fun, like I said, I can do this all day. Overall, this is super impressive. I cannot wait to take this to the streets. Let's do it right now. Hey everyone, I'm here in Sunning Twin, Beijing, the fashion hub of the capital. Also, a hub for photographers. I'm here to test out my modded Game Boy camera. Hopefully, I can take some pictures alongside these photographers.你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好